Do you feel like you're going to find love in L.A.? Maybe in like Toluca Lake, maybe the outskirts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I am confident that I will, but maybe I won't. I don't know. How do you date? How do you find girls? I usually, I don't, I'm not on dating apps. I just like either DMs, ladies, or kind of just like in life, I guess, after a show or like at a bar through a friend. Yeah. I think. I think that. I just, I don't know. Dating apps just too, it's too like cannibal. It's just too like you're just a, just caveman. You're just left, right. Like there's no like yeah. sense in it. It, it just, it, it's just like, it's like, I don't know. The attention span to your brain gives it. It's just not healthy, I think. Would you ever date a fan? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because then they know what your life is kind of entails. They're like, oh, he tours a lot. He's always, you know, uh, filming or working or editing. Like, he's a busy man. Like, they kind of know. But, like, I think that's almost better because I've been on dates where a girl's like, so what do you do? And I'm like, oh, no. You've now I got to be like, now, now I have to explain the reason why I like work like 16 hour days. And she's like, this is not making me wet at all. And I'm like, no, it is. But yeah. The algorithm, babe, the algorithm. <laughs> so I think if somebody knows my life is better. But um, I think the amount of work that I put into the day to day, fucking Gary Vee, I, I, li- I love what I do. Mm-hmm. So like if somebody can get on board and like, oh, yeah, I, I know Trevor. I know his podcast, Stiff Socks. I know his podcast. I know his videos. <laughs> I know he tours a lot. Then, you know, they're, they're understanding like what's going on. Not yeah. that somebody can't get used to that, but it is a little easier maybe. Yeah. Uh, would you ever date a girl on OnlyFans? Yeah. I'm wearing OnlyFans socks right now, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I came in them last night. so I You're a supporter. Of OnlyFans? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I, I think they're doing great things over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when you were in school, what was your best subject? Probably whippets. Man, whippets are going around <coughs> these days. I've heard about a lot of people doing whippets <coughs> lately. That's Texas, baby. It's so hot. They're like, give me some of that fucking <laughs> that whipped cream. I would pass cool out. Off. No, it's the opposite. You get oxygen from it. Too much oxygen. Uh, if you do it right, you got to microdose the whippets. Oh, no, I think man. My, my favorite subject. God, I don't know. When I got to college and I started doing film school, that's what I really liked. But before that, maybe. I'm trying to think. I had a pretty hot English teacher in uh, 11th grade, Miss Saffron. Not the question. That's a red flag. What, uh, what are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> she was a swim coach. <laughs> yeah. What was your worst subject? Math. I was a senior in a class with a bunch of sophomores, which is not good. If you think all the sophomores are like, dude, Trev's so cool. He's a senior. Dude, I got to relate to you. I failed pre algebra three years in a row. Yeah. I, I don't even know if I ever made it to algebra. I don't even know how to use a calculator. Really? I, well, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, yeah, but, yeah. but holy shit, I'm so bad. I was terrible at math. At math. Terrible at math. And then they'd always be like, oh, show your work. I'd be like, I copied this. <laughs> <What are> you, <laughs> or I'd just be drawing like wingdings on the side of the paper to make it look like work. Yeah. I'd put in more work faking work than doing the actual work. Ba- okay. Same. Yeah. yeah. But whatever. Main course questions coming up. Oh, boy. Are you ready? Yes. Is anyone under the impression that they are in a relationship with you? Probably mentally, yeah. Yeah? There's people that DM me every single day. DM? Just, yeah, but they, but they just are like, you know, they're just saying, they're just, it's like a, di- like, people's DMs are like a diary for some people. Like, somebody was, just last night was like, hey, I have tickets to a Nickelback concert. Do you want to go to Nickelback? Do you like Nickelback? And then they kept asking questions. Then one of the questions, she goes, thinking about how you are in bed. Do you sweat in bed? Like, how sweaty are we talking? One of the, full conversation. Gosh, she's going to take over my job. It's AI. I don't know what's going on, but she's it is. She's got so um, many questions. Yeah. Do you well, sweat in bed? What? Do I sweat in bed? Yeah, I'd say so. Do you like to sleep with it cold? Yeah, got to be cold. I go room super cold, but like covered in a blanket. You Same. Know? Yeah. I hope this girl's ice. watching this podcast. I'm helping her out. She's watching me sleep at night. Yeah. Oh. She is locked in. But does anybody think they're in a relationship with me? No, I don't think so. Do you feel like you're clear when you date what what your status? Yeah, you well, also women will ask you. They'll be like, what are we? And you're like, oh boy. <laughs> so they let it be known. Because yeah. they want the, you know, you both want the title just so you, you know, and it's like, is are we here yet? We've been dating for X amount of time. What are, what are we? S- Fair question to ask. Which, and to that, mm-hmm. how long do you feel like you date someone before you can define that? I think three months is good. 
It's yeah. like a Spotify premium trial, you know? You really know, like, <laughs> do you want to pay that? Do you subscribe? Yeah, do you want that nine ninety nine a month or not? Yeah. What locks you in when you date? What's your... Man. I would say... Uh, God, I think there's there's just like a feeling when it feels right. Like it just feels like because sometimes I'm and I'm sure everybody in here has had that where you get a text from somebody you're like, what do you want? Yeah, and it's not that. Oh, beautiful. That I think what locks it in is just I don't even. Good personality is really where I'm at. Not to sound like a fuckboy, but a good personality, you know, sends back funny stuff. I should just date Joe Rogan. I don't know what I need. <laughs> I need a guy. You know, good personality, sexually active in these streets, maybe has an ass, definitely has an ass. Are you an ass guy or a boob guy? Ass guy. Blonde hair or brunette? Brunette. Do you care about eye color? No, but I think blue is an added value. Blue yeah. is like added. You know when you're like getting a rental car and they're like, do you want CarPlay? And you're like, fuck yeah. CarPlay yeah. is like the blue eyes for me. Yeah. I like blue eyes too. They're so pretty to look at. They are, and they look, they look great on camera. And they're also just like cap. They're just bright, captivating. Yeah. First date, baby. Are you really drinking a glass of milk with dinner? First date, I can't.